Today we are at Connell Sixth Form in, and we're in the neighbourhood for Ancolt, Clayton and Beswick, not Bradford as it used to be called. Uh, this is the third of four events and the next one tomorrow is going to be in Cheatham Hill and that will be at the Irish Heritage Centre. Today we have individuals, we have small organisations, medium size, we have voluntary sector, we have statutory bodies that are represented, we have system representatives here and system leaders. The information gathered today will be shared across everybody so that when we look to put policies, plans together for the future, this bit of information should be really meaningful and really valuable. So all kinds of different people have attended, so we've had community groups, we've had individual residents, we've had people from sheltered housing, we've had services, nurses, active case managers, we've had the chief medical officer in Manchester, we've had all sorts of different people and I think it sort of demonstrates how, how important people feel across the board of how much community means, you know, it's, it's not just the word that we, that we write down, it's it actually means something to connect with your community. Food, it's access to food banks. So yes, everyone says there's lots and lots of food banks out there, but if you can't, you can't continually go to that. If you need that every day, you've got to get permission to have that every day. And that's quite, it's very difficult to get repeat, repeat. You can go once a month, but you can't go there every day. But what if you need access to that, where do you go? I think what Gary said is right as well about this whole North and East Manchester thing, because I'd shared some of these things with some of my friends in the area, and every single one of them said, but I don't live in North Manchester, it's not relevant for us. And I think that's such a barrier, because North Manchester makes sense to us, but I live in East Manchester, and to me, this is East Manchester. Yeah. Yes. The canals, there's loads of people cycling, fishing, all sorts of stuff. There's Phillips Park, which is just behind Asda. There's Ashton Old Road, you'll find loads of people walking up and down there. Over the past three days, there's been a massive buzz, massive excitement and enthusiasm throughout the crowd. The people who have attended are from all different backgrounds, whether it's health and social, whether it's VCSEs, or whether it's the local residents. Everyone's brought together and brought this enormous energy with them and just having conversations. I think today a lot of people have created new partnerships. People was unaware of what's happening in the area, or people was unaware that there is an organisation that can add value and complement the service that they are currently doing. So today, and I think for the past few days, and also tomorrow, will be a great success. It's only a starting block, this meeting today and this week, but it's a building block for greater things to come. So for me, a lot of, of the engagement is actually first-hand really slogging and going out and talking to people in GP practices and supermarkets. So it's quite nice to actually have a ready-made event where I can speak to them all in one go. We're really here to network and find out what's available in the local community because a lot of people that we work with have got long-term conditions, quite socially isolated, and a lot of times they don't really know what is out there that can help them in the community. So what, a huge part of what we do is getting people to make those little changes in their lifestyles, you know, like stopping smoking, making changes to their diet, more physical activities, but also reducing social isolation by linking them with local organisations that can help them. The session today has been brilliant. Um, it's given us uh, opportunity to network with some really good provisions and, and, and some really good um, organisations out there in the community. It's also helps me raise my awareness a little bit of um, what is actually out there so that I can hopefully make more referral um, opportunities for people um, based on their individual needs um, as well. So yeah, I thought it was very interactive, the session, and um, yeah, I thought it was brilliant. I thought very informative and yeah, I would come again.